Hi, I'm Hayden from Van Roy Machinery, and today I'm showing you the Salva Smart Touch Controller. To turn on the controller, you press the power key here, and the oven will begin to boot up. When the oven turns on, it'll be on your program list screen. On this screen here, we can select the program that we want to bake on, or you can also edit, edit or add new programs. To first select a program, we can go to any on the list here, so I'll choose the croissant program, and then we press the arrow, and it goes forward to the next step, which is the preheating step. We're currently at 182 degrees, and the oven is preheating to 190. Once the oven reaches 190 degrees, an alarm will sound, and you're ready to bake. You load your products into the oven, and you press the play symbol down here. Once you select the play symbol, the oven will then begin to bake, so it's gone to its second step. That's our current temperature that we are, and we are going to 190. Our time limit is 20 minutes remaining of 20. So we can reduce this down to let's say we go down to one minute remaining. And now there's only a minute remaining on the program. We can go across and we can see a countdown timer. Once the timer reaches zero, an alarm will sound. It's always the best practice that when a program finishes, if you're not sure if the products are ready or not, we press plus two and it adds two minutes to the program. That way you have time to remove your products from the program and then if they weren't ready, then they can continue baking. We can also add additional time or take back time. Then once the program reaches zero again, the alarm sounds. We know our products are ready this time, so we just press the stop symbol and it stops the program. The reason I say it's very important to always add two minutes because if you end the program and then you need to bake for longer, instead of starting the program again, now we have to go to the manual option, press the forward key, set your preheating temperature. If the oven is already at temperature, which it should be because we were just baking, we can play the program and now we can adjust our temperature. So we can adjust it to whatever we needed it to be for the remainder of the bake. And then also adjust your time. So you can see here it's always better to just add an additional two minutes and continue the program until your product is finished. So I'm going to stop this program now and we're going to return to our program list. So now from the program list we're going to add a new program. So I'm going to scroll to an empty position here so number 10 is free. Select it. Once it's selected it has a red box and then we go to the pencil. We're now in the editing phase. First, we're going to set our preheat temperature. So you press the button at the top there and we can set our value. So I'm going to do a sourdough program for example. So I'm going to set it to 245 degrees preheat. And for the sake of the video, I'm going to do a two-step program just to show some more functions of the oven. So my first step is only going to run for four minutes. 245 degrees and we're going to input our steam so for this first step I'm going to choose 15 seconds of steam I'm not going to open the damper then I have my element settings so the element settings is top front and floor so this relates to how much heat you're getting from each of your elements if you're wanting more color on the top you go to a higher percentage on the top or more color on the bottom you go to a higher percentage on the bottom the front heat works to trap the heat inside the oven and also help perform more even baking. So I'm going to choose 60% on the top, 80% on the front, and the bottom has automatically become 40% because I chose 60% on the top. Now to add an additional step, we go to the plus sign here. Now that we have our phase two, we can change our baking time. So I'm gonna set this for 34 minutes. So that's gonna give me now a total of 38 minutes of baking. The temperature I'm gonna keep the same. I'm gonna do a second batch of steam that's gonna happen after the first four minutes. So we can set that to 10 seconds. So now the way that this will work is, 
as soon as the program begins, it begins step one, and it's going to bake for four minutes. At the beginning of that baking, it's going to steam for 15 seconds. After that four minutes is finished, we're going to start step two. And step two is going to run for 34 minutes. So at the beginning of that step, we're going to get 10 seconds of steam. I'm also going to open the damper in the second step. The damper is to release steam from your program. So I'm going to set the damper for 15 minutes. I also want to stop that alarm. So I had to stop the alarm halfway through the baking, or the editing the program, but now I can just jump back in again by pressing the pencil and I can continue editing. So I want to keep the element settings all the same. Now to edit the name, we press the pencil at the top here and we press ABC. Now we can type our name. So I'm going to type the name as test and go to the tick. And we can also add a photo of the product. So there we have it here, the name and then the little picture that we've just added. We're happy with all of our settings, so we go to the tick. Are you sure you want to save your settings? The tick again. And now we've added a new program. And again, to run that program, we press the arrow. It'll begin preheating. And at any point, we can play the program early or we wait for the oven to fully preheat. And then we're ready to start baking. To use the time startup function of the oven, we want to go to our menu page here. So that is always from your program list at the top left hand corner. It's going to open our menu page. Then we press the power symbol and we can choose to turn off the oven. We have a pause functions which is used for servicing and we have the moon and the clock. The moon and the clock is the delayed startup. We select what program we want the oven to turn on to. So we can use that new program we just created. and what date and time we want the oven to turn on. So we are the 26th today, so I'm going to go to the 27th, the 9th, 22, and at 4 a.m. So if we're turning the oven on at 4 a.m., it takes roughly an hour to reach 200 degrees. So we'll be planning to come in at 5 a.m. to start baking. If you were to come in earlier, we're coming in at 2 a.m. I would set the oven to turn on at 1 a.m. So it always has at least an hour to preheat for us. Then we go to the tick. We're going to save our program. It's now been saved in and we can play it. So now we can see when the oven is going to turn on and what temperature it's going to preheat to. And we can see our current time and date. If the time and date are wrong, we have to go to our settings page and change it. Or if we want to use the oven again before the time startup is finished, we can just go to the stop symbol here. And it's automatically going to go to the last program we were on. And now to change our time and date settings. So this will have to be done every year during daylight savings. We go to our settings, the gear at the top, our general settings, and just down here for our time setting, Press the time setting, change it to the correct time, and then go to the tick. And you can also change your date settings if need be as well. Once you've changed your settings, just go back. And it's going to return you back to the main menu. If you are changing any settings and you're unsure of what to do, please go to vanroymachinery.com.au and you can ask our help desk. Alternatively, you can also call us on 03 9768 3300 and press 1 for service and we'll be happy to help you.